Hey there, scientists. This is Mrs. Geis, and today we're going to talk about the amazing relationship between cellular respiration and photosynthesis. So we know that cellular respiration occurs in animal cells. We know that photosynthesis down here occurs in plant cells. Okay, so here I have a plant cell. Here I have an animal cell. We know that photosynthesis makes glucose and oxygen, which plant and animal cells use to make ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Cellular respiration releases carbon dioxide and water. Now, photosynthesis takes in carbon dioxide and water and releases oxygen while the plant is able to make its own food. So we can look right here and we can see that everything can be traced back to light energy from the sun, right? We know that without the sun, we would have no life on earth. Everything can be traced back to the sun. So let's look at this plant cell right here. Inside the plant cell, we have these little green chloroplasts. Chloroplasts is where photosynthesis occurs in the plant cell. So again, the beautiful relationship that we have here is plant cells take in carbon dioxide and water. They use energy from the sun and they give off glucose and oxygen. Now animal cells, here's the glucose, here's the oxygen. Animal cells in the mitochondria take in glucose and oxygen and convert that to ATP, which allows energy to occur in that animal cell. That's how, that's how we get our energy through the adenosine, adenosine triphosphate, the ATP. Okay, so I know it sounds a little confusing, but really just think of it as a cycle. Okay, what we have happening here in this animal cell, right? It's taking that glucose, it's taking that oxygen, right? In cellular respiration, which is what's happening right here. Okay, and it's giving off carbon dioxide and water. Now plants take in carbon dioxide and water and they use energy from the sun in order to photosynthesize and give off C6H12O6, which is glucose or food, and O2, which is oxygen. So I want you to think of it as this, this beautiful cycle that occurs. It's one gives off what the other needs. Okay, and that's the relationship between cellular respiration and photosynthesis. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day.